hello friends welcome to this my video session today I'm going to discuss with you API testing uh, let me introduce myself uh, my name is Padmaraj Nedukundi uh, by profession I am software test engineer let's today we are discussing about the API testing mm, the main intention to focus this my phrase word discovery of works in early stage so uh, in this session uh, I'm trying to uh, talk with you with the uh, what is API and what types of API testing and what is architecture of the API and what are the popular API tools and also like what kind of bugs we can get if we do API testing so uh, in introduction I will try to give you brief overview that cover uh, practical experience uh, I mean like some case studies or some some more real life example so you could understand what what was the benefit of API testing exactly then also I try to take you to the manual testing and automation testing but these two parts are available in my next uh, session one more session uh, let's let's go with the API testing introduction part so we know what is the abbreviation of API is like application program interface so nowadays most of applications are multi-layered and they're interacting with more than one components within a architecture or out of the architecture uh, so so in in this case in this way like uh, nowadays applications are doing more than one task and they become more complex or or they are doing multiple tasks in simple words so uh, to handle this all uh, uh, to make this all handle easily most of companies are uh, going for the API development with their application itself so one way uh, with the API development the companies manage their own product itself easily but in another point of view, they want to give some of their access to the out of the uh, another part of the application or out of the third party tools. So though that is also possible via API. That why that why companies are adopting these APIs. So but let's go focus with API testing. Uh, API testing, uh, as as I discussed, is very crucial nowadays. So, so uh, API testing involves the functionality testing itself and its reliability, and performance, and security. And as we know, this API per, uh, testing performed on the message layer. So uh, that means uh, there is no GUI, there is no graphical user interface. Uh, I will I will uh, show you in my practical part how this APIs we can test without GUI there is no graphical interface and if we go with the real more life real uh, ex development example now most of companies first develop the API they, they define some sort of uh, requirements and on requirement basis uh, companies are start writing the API first then they develop the UI so what happened uh, so if, if you look in this picture apis are somewhere in between uh, gui and the backend so those 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 making interaction in a in a message layer yes we can get this picture also a bit clear with when we look one of the uh, my slide uh, now if we go with the api nowadays like uh, it is more API automation testing it's also become crucial uh, because because we not able to do all API test manually so and uh, so that why API automation is important and and another point of view uh, if you work in a agile or a extreme programming 
such such development uh, environment or such kind of project management style uh, types that those those there is really difficult to 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 know like uh, changing things so we if you worked already if you have some experience in agile you might seen like lot of time this user interface gui graphical user interface or it also called as a back end or it's also called as a your content management system something like that so so they it is always changing from the back end side and and this and it's also affecting to the front end side if you have front end side some same thing then it is also changing so what happen uh, in the agile and dev environment it's really difficult uh to ma uh, to do this uh, api testing in manually so because of the frequent releases the uh, development teams are releasing more frequent new versions in that time it's really hard to manage this uh, gui testes so that why the best approach we go for the api testing itself there are different types of api testing in the practice in the industry uh, it's up to the uh, you in your working company what kind of uh, test they do with the whole application if company have a good budget to spend on different things then they go for different kind of test if they have limited resources then 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 it, it is something different then they focus on 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 what what they want to achieve so let's let's go with uh, uh, here uh, in this slide we uh, if if we look here there are types of testing available first one is init testing so normally when developer develop some sort of code so they have to test so development team write themselves a unit test for a developed api this is one approach this is one type of testing but most of time this test done by the uh developer or sometime they call as a developer in test person who is responsible for doing this those test and next uh most of the test are done by the uh software tester for example functional test that that includes uh, defining the test cases and execution and validating and the doing regression test using the in a manual way using api and one of the type of testing is like a load testing where uh, we add number of concurrent users according to the scope of the load or according to the baseline or according to the uh, requirement of the uh, from the stakeholder we add the number of Uh, concurrent users on the certain number of apis or all apis then we understand we try to understand what what was the bottleneck of the api itself uh if we one more type of testing is runtime error detection where where uh, the monitoring of application of the execution automated or manually expose the problem such as race condition expectations and resource leak uh you might see these these are like uh, possible conditions also with api so those can be either monitored or 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 uh, they supposed to be detected mm, for example race condition come when when same call is going to ask same request repeatedly to the another call so such time there can be a race condition so such such scenarios also need to be tested so one type one more type of api testing is security testing that included the penetration testing and fuzzy testing as well as validation and authentication and encryption and access control so so these all need to be uh, tested with the api and next one is web ui testing where we normally uh, do with uh, selenium using 
we check the interaction and uh, we check the response code or we can do with some with uh, possibly do with some other manual tools also let's we check also what was the api testing tools bit later uh, and one more of one more type of testing is interpolatory testing that is only possible with the soap apis and one is a comp comp compliance testing that is also possible with the soap only okay if we look uh, in the in the picture of the architecture what api included exactly so in api included uh, three more three important component first one is http header in the http request status code and response code uh, in http header there are uh, two component one is authentication and response time and if you go for a http request there are seven time for component one is this we also call as a calls like a connect delete get head option post and put and uh, uh, one more is like a response code like you might see this more of only this kind of response code and you can read more about what kind of response code from this link uh, given on the screen for example response code included this uh, 200 404 not found mm, so on so so these also need to be tested these all uh, if you look at the big picture of ap architecture we have to look all these things one is http header http request and status code ap architecture included these three main components uh, let's begin uh with let's go for the next slide that show like what type of uh, web services that industry is using uh, the one is soap that is most soap and rest are more famous that soap abbreviate like simple object access protocol and rest for uh, representational state transfer and xml rpc json rpc so you can read about more those briefly uh, in uh, some online portal to understand what exactly those are like and these are the these are the very 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 more often used pro, uh, apis with the development of the application okay let's so go with the popular api testing tools if you look this screen you might see you might be you user maybe you know these brand names somehow these all companies are providing the api testing tools also few companies also providing api development plus testing and the rest of uh, companies also um, few companies only providing only testing i say i say like only i can say not these tools there are still number of tools those are in the practice of the industry and few companies as i know also they built their custom api testing tools uh, but most famous nowadays are swagger and soap ui and postman that that i seen like most of the companies are talking about them or most of the in the, uh, most of the time industry asking those those tools knowledge uh, for you to work in another company okay if we look for what was the advantage of api testing first look at this pyramid that show uh, where we are we are in between the uh, ui and unit the services so in services api test come what was the most important benefit is like it being the test coverage with the application but more than that it is time effective and test quality will improve and it help to team to or a test team to do things faster like testing process faster 
and it covers all functionality. Those are the core core advantages of the API testing. So let's discuss like what I'm going to show you in upcoming weeks. So I will show you the swagger for the manual testing. Uh, I try to find I try to show you uh, how we can do testing with the uh, swagger in a manual way. And next one tool is to automating those same test cases. I can show that one with the postman tool. Don't misunderstood like sometimes this swagger tool itself also used by the developer to develop the API, but in swagger tool also provide the testing possibility. So as a tester, uh, we can test the developed API over there. So so if you if, if you look this uh, how this swagger look like this is a screenshot I briefly show showing you on the screen so once we put uh, our request in the uh, URL place it it fetched the all possible uh, component and uh, it show like like what what application content itself as a main component and when we start testing manually api the question is like what kind of bugs we get because because if you look at this last slide you see there are number of component like a album authentication content language native but there is no gui there is no graphical user interface so so imagine like as I said, like when the uh, development begins, they just develop the API calls. And that time, if you know this uh, requirement of the application at some level, not very deep, but still high level, like what is a what component doing what kind of task, you need to know that much. If you know about that, then you can start beginning to testing and you already start detecting bugs in api calls like you can detect like api validation code bugs and wrong status code they are showing and and sometimes you do some interaction with in between two components and those are showing wrong result or not showing as expected results and sometimes you notice http requests are not working so so i say like most important test is like a uh, this component interaction they are like interacting properly or not and uh, the api validation so these kind of bugs you can already uh, start reporting or uh, you can discover them and start talking with the development teams like like what was the possibility bugs and those for example this component interaction or uh, two models are not interacting it, it is same bug it you will see later in the when they develop the GUI graphical user interface so idea is we can we can detect those bugs here in early stage without GUI going to the graphical user, in, the user interface development so let's let's go with the automation mm. so the goal is to what I discussed in a manual testing those same tasks we can automate using the postman tool so so let's understand what kind of bugs also we can get in automation testing and we try to uh, development always team always try to to push lot of uh, updates on a code on the on the in agile environment they're pushing lot of new codes to the uh, to the environment that time it's really difficult to even you can do manual testing with the apis <coughs> because because we don't know this change functionality is working or not so that time we can have this api test suit that will 
do this kind of test automatically and also we can check more over this response time that can be a in a long term it can be a also like a issue or a bug in the future for the performance testing so in this way we uh, in this way if we look this this uh, api testing that really bring a lot of value of, of testing if you if you if company is starting the application from the scratches if you are a tester uh, you start talking about api testing if you don't know you start learn from my videos and also you can learn a lot of from the out from my video also uh, i mean in the online uh, so once once you have some knowledge so you put together and start doing this one so it bring it save a lot of time for you in the future and it's help uh, to the whole team to stabilize this application or uh, or remove the bugs or uh, bring the more 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 stability to the application itself let's let's conclude and let's look what are the api testing advantages we can test whole application without user interface and we can mm, mm, protection from the muscles in its code and breakages and api testing are more time efficient and 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 we can do functional and validation testing also and moreover it is reducing the testing cost and api tester technology independent and i see for you to 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 point out this reduce the testing cost that 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 most of the companies aim is nowadays so so if you are tester then 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 i say like start learning or start uh, understand what was the value of the api testing and uh, start doing that one this was my message from this video okay thanks for watching my this video session i hope you liked it i like to see your comments and feedbacks how you feel about this video uh, and in my next video as i said you i will show you how to do the uh, api testing in manual and i uh, and one more video i will make uh, for the automation of the api testing so that means that bring you the overall picture and overall idea to how to approach for the api testing okay thank you friends